Hello, please, I want you to listen to my conversation with this young lady and it will help you to be careful in your marriage and relationship. Hello. Hello. Yeah, good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. Sir, is this the marriage counselor? Yes, this is the marriage counselor. Please, I would like to share something with you. All right, go ahead. Mr. Counselor, I don't know. When I really met this guy, he was cool. We were cool. He had nothing. I brought him into my house. We were close. Like, he treated me like a queen. He treated me like his girlfriend, someone he really do love. But recently, he has changed. He has changed a lot. He has started saying money. His attitude towards me has changed. And I don't really know why. Like, I really don't know why. So... He has changed. All right. What and what are the changes that you have noticed? What happened? Okay. Mr. Counselor, like, um, two weeks back from now, yes, if I remember clearly, we were out on a get-together. My friends were there. His friends were there also. So, I think, okay, yeah, I brought up a, um, a story, something that happened in our past, in our relationship too. It was funny, it sounded funny to me, I don't know about him, but every other person laughed about it. He didn't even give me the, you know, when you're not comfortable with what your partner is saying, you can, you know, like, give her the sign, tell her you don't want it, but he didn't even show any interest in not liking what I was talking about. So I felt okay, he was comfortable with it and I kept on saying what I was saying. So when we got home, Mr. Counselor, this happened in the house. He just flared up, he got angry and he started beating me up. I asked him what the problem was. At first he didn't really want to say something and then he was now going like I like I disrespected him during the gathering and I got him angry and I said things out of um disrespect that has to do with our relationship, blah blah blah. I don't even know what he was saying, he was just blabbing to me because what he was saying wasn't making sense to me. So I was now wondering, why would someone who claims he loves you now start beating you because you made some mistake that he didn't even mind to correct you? And I don't know, I just got so angry, I got mad, I was very pissed at what he did. Like, real men don't beat women they love, so I, I don't know. He raises his hands up to beat you? Okay, um, what do you do? Tell me, tell me more, what do you do? I own a shop, I run... A boutique shop, a boutique. So, uh, someone ordered something from my shop, and I went to do home delivery when I got there. This was happening as I last week on this year, if I can remember clearly. So, I got to the compound, I delivered this stuff, and then on leaving the place, I saw someone that looked exactly like this one, and I wasn't sure. I wasn't all that sure, but then I wanted to, you know, like satisfy my curiosity. I called the person, it happened to be him, and I was very surprised. Not quite long, I saw the lady he came to see, because he walked out of one apartment too, in that same very compound. I saw the lady that he came to see, and what I saw between the both of them, it seemed like a, a romantic relationship, and I was very surprised. I was not asking him, and then he was. it, it led to an argument finally in the house when he finally came back home. I was asking who was that he was with. He now said that I don't know all his friends. Must I know all his friends? That does he have to explain everybody he meets or everybody he knows to me? But this wasn't how it has been. Like, I literally know everybody he knows. I talk with everybody he talks with like we relate very well he knows my friends and i know his friends i don't see a reason why he would go see a girl even if it was for a business he would have told me okay see babe i'm going to see this person i'm going to this particular apartment i'm going to this particular place to see somebody but he didn't tell me like it led to an argument and you know after arguments of course he would beat me again and he keeps beating me each time i bring up something like this and i'm very tired it's very exhausting i swear Okay, has he ever shown a sign of regret after beating you, knowing fully well that you are in pain? Hmm. Mr. Cancelo, this one is a surprising part of his relationship, to be very honest. 
This man sometimes acts like as if he's being possessed by the devil. Okay, after the Apollo, uh, when he's done beating me, when he has finished beating me up, like as if I'm a punching bag, he comes back begging. And the apology seems so sincere. And it, you know, when it, something, someone is apologizing and it's coming from the. That's how it is, so. And you know, I don't have the mind to keep this anger to myself and then get angry at him and then, you know, keep malice and all. I, I forgive him outrightly. But then something else happens and then he comes beating me and later on he comes apologizing you understand it seems like he's possessed or he's being possessed by some kind of deity i don't know how to go about this one this one really passed me oh. because how can someone who claims he loves you now comes beating you after beating you he then apologizes like as if what he did was nothing he turns me to punch him back this second and the next second we become we get closer and all lovey dovey like i don't get it okay I am led to ask you this question. You have had a revelation like in a dream about you and this young man. Tell me about it. Um, yes, yeah, so I won't lie. I've had revelations about it in my dreams, you know. Okay, the story goes like this. I don't know, but it's... Uh, I should get close to what it was. He... It was a wedding setting. The way the bride or the groom stands in the altar waiting for the bride to make her entrance. I was the one standing instead. And we were waiting for my groom to walk in so that the marriage would begin. But he was nowhere to be found. People stood. We were, you know, worried, sick. Everybody was waiting for him to enter. It was something I didn't understand when I had the dream. I felt it was just something, you know, normal relationship syndrome kind of dream. I didn't know if it was actual, if it was an actual revelation from God, or if it was just there, something I just have to overlook. So I wouldn't know. Okay, let me ask you a simple question: What kind of a man do you want in your life, Mister Counselor? To be very, very honest with you, this relationship is not going the way every. Body would want their relationship to be not all rosy, lovey dovey kind of relationship because I know there are ups and downs in relationship. I just sincerely want someone that would respect me genuinely, someone that would love me, every of me, like every part of me, my character, and just take me the way I am. Someone that would, you know, be down to earth when it comes to things that has to do with our relationship, not someone that would be beating me up and down you know violence written all over the relationship that's not what i want like that's really not what i want and that's the more reason i called you to know what your take on this um relationship would be because it, to me it seemed one-sided because i'm like obviously the only one giving the attention the love the care everything and on the other side of uh, the relationship coming from Desmond, I get nothing in return. He beats me all over and he comes apologizing. I don't know. I really do love this guy, but if there is any way you can help us, like, you know, I would really, really appreciate that. Mr. Counselor, thank you. Okay, I heard everything you said. Now, listen, I want to start by telling you that helping someone is not bad. You have done well. You have done so well by helping him to stand in his business. I know you want both of you to settle down in marriage if things work out well. Now, these are the things you must know. I am going to tell you the kind of person you must not settle down with. The kind of person you must not marry and the kind of person that you need as a husband. But before I do that, listen. Relationship does not and can never tell you that this person or that person is good for marriage. And don't you ever forget this. Listen, what brings out your real character that you may not know that you possess are events that occur per time. The occurrences in marriage and the occurrences in relationship differ. And your response to those occurrences appear to be strange at times. To the point that you don't know that you can actually react the way you reacted. What am I saying? I am saying that staying in a relationship to study how a man or a woman will react or behave in marriage is an error. You don't even know who you are until marriage sets in and issues arise. 
because there must be issues in marriage. Any marriage without issue is a weak marriage because those issues bring understanding. You must not marry a man who does not understand what marriage is meant to be. And for anyone to understand what marriage is meant to be, such a person must follow the maker of marriage. A man or a woman who enters into marriage with someone outside God, God who is the creator and the maker of marriage, such a man or a woman can never arrive at God's purpose for marriage except that person makes a U-turn to God's original plan for marriage. Now listen, singing and praising God, dancing in church, becoming a praying machine and going to church always do not make anyone to be seen as one who can make a good husband or a good wife because the devil can do better. Outside this, other men understand love to only be the feelings they have and respond to. But the true ones understand that love is sacrifice and they are afraid to say I love you when they know that they are not ready for that. That is why my best marriage prayer is God make me a good husband and not only that God should give me a good wife. And women should also pray that prayer that God should make them good wives and not only that God should give them good husbands. Because when a woman only asks for a good husband and does not care to check her life, such a woman can never understand what submission is all about. And that is why most women clamor for equal rights with their men. Most importantly, God shows some people love by revealing to them the secret thing about their relationship before marriage. But the feelings they have built within them speaks to them the other way around. That most of the times they doubt God when he speaks to them. When you are in this kind of situation, please sit back, check for one thing. What is that? Peace. Do you have peace within you in that relationship or are you simply responding to it by what you feel in your body and your heart? You see, that peace can never be denied. When you don't have it, you don't have it. I have been saying this and I will keep saying it until everyone understands it. Listen to me. Marriage does not change people. But it brings out and amplifies what people are. In case, if a man raises his hand by mistake to hit you before marriage, know that in marriage such a man will beat you. And if he beats you before marriage, I want you to know that in marriage you'll be needing a life support. Before your marriage with him, you notice that he used to like another woman's shape. She, he, he likes the way she walks, the way she talks. Be careful because in your marriage, someone is definitely going to be pregnant and that person will not be you. And what you cannot manage in your relationship, please do not think that you can manage it in your marriage. I am going to send you a manual that you will read. You will read this manual and it will open your eyes the more because human being is like a sheep that needs to be guided in the path that it will take. This manual breaks down and controls the foolishness in men and women and lead them to a successful and purposeful marriage if anyone obeys. If you have just watched this video and you need someone to talk to about your marriage and your relationship, feel free to talk to me on WhatsApp because I know that everybody needs marriage manual to be successful in their marriage. Please share this video to help us to stop divorce in the world today. And God bless you as you do that. And don't forget, this is House of the Sons Global.